Huh? What's up, buddy? Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> We're doing a little scenic drive today. Yeah. Mother nature. Yeah. <laughs> Putting the windows down, we got the sunroof open. Leslie will probably be hanging out. Yeah. Shooting some video today. Mm -hmm. uh, what are we hoping to see? Gators. Well, that was fast. <laughs> As if you haven't seen enough gators on our channel enough recently, gators. we're going to see some gators. We'll probably see some lots of birds. Birds and turtles and. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. At the very end, she said we should be able to see the big eagle's nest. Yeah. And some eagles. She That'd said be cool. Eagle's nest bigger than our truck. Yeah. That's insane. And they're nesting right now. Yeah. So that'll be awesome to see. I hope we do see that. It'll take us about two hours to drive through all this. Yeah, because you can only go 10 miles an hour. It won't be two hours for you, trust me. <laughs> we won't. We won't, we won't put you through that. there are lots of people out here today. Well, it's a Saturday. Well, yeah. we only do it on the weekends. Yes, it's only on the weekends. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So you don't have a choice. Make sure you got plenty of gas, though, because when you come in here, it's one way. It takes about two hours to get through here, and there's no getting back out. So yeah. You don't want to be walking back with your gas can. <laughs> Past walk, a bunch of gators. A walk of shame with the gas can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leslie's the cameraman today, so hopefully she'll get it good. <laughs> I hope so. Let's see. Let's go. <laughs> There's an alligator laying in the middle of the road. A huge alligator laying in the middle of the road. Leslie's up there filming it right now. We'll drive pretty close to it so you can get a good look at it. But he's uh, he's just chilling, man. Hey, Mr. Gator. What you doing? He's got stuff growing on him. Yeah. yeah. There are so many alligators out here. It's crazy. And today's high is only 70 degrees. So it's not like it's a warm, warm day, but they're out basking in the sun. And I'm telling you what, this is Lake Apopka that we're driving around right now. And if you fell into Lake Apopka, <laughs> it's going to be a very bad day for you yeah. because these are not little gators either. No. These are big fellas or ladies. Yes. I don't want to be sexist. There's got to be something good going on up here because there's a bunch of people out of their car, which I don't even think you're supposed to get out of your car. Probably not. But since there's a crowd Something gathering, something's up. going on up here. Hey. Wow, we were right. There is a huge, huge gator over here. That's a big fella. Holy crap. I see one off in the bushes over there too. You wanna get out? Yeah, we can. Well, we decided that the uh, safety of the truck was not important. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> and, and it's not against the rules. It just says, please maintain social distancing and be careful. So yeah. we're fine. We're gonna get over here by this big guy and show you a little closer. Not too close. Yeah, but, um, you don't wanna move him. And we'll see if we can get a, a gator selfie. Yeah. He gave me the stink eye like Scout. <laughs> oh, he's opening his mouth. Oh, Oh. Whoa. There's another gator in the road. It's like going through a national park here, man. You can tell where the cool stuff is because there's always a cluster of cars that's pulled off to the side and sometimes people get out and uh, some of these people are being pretty bold. They are being very brave. Yeah, they're getting pretty close to these alligators, closer than I would I would get. But there's some people who are close enough to where um, if the gator wanted to get them, I think they could he, probably get them. If he lunged, yeah. Yeah. And no offense, but that guy was kind of portly. I don't think he stood a chance if the gator lunged at him. <laughs> it's like sometimes you can tell who are tourists because they really want to get that close so they can go home and say look how close i got to a gator when i was in florida not worth dying over no. <laughs> <laughs> i'm hanging out the sunroof right now and it's really cool because there's a little canal between here and right on the other side of the canal is where a lot of the gators are hanging out there's like a little land strip over here and uh man there's a big one right there hopefully leslie's down there filming right now there's one right here so i'm going to pull up right next to it See if we can get some good huh what's up buddy hi what are you doing <laughs> what's up fella just chilling they're so pretty they're so pretty well now we're on the outer edge of lake apopka 
we told we chose to do a, a little bit of a detour to go to the edge of the lake instead of going straight through the swampy area we'll get back into some swampy areas where more gators are but we wanted to see this is a ginormous lake man this wildlife preserve is beautiful and we've already seen dozens of gators so if you've seen dozens there's many many more that you don't see and but surprisingly we haven't seen any turtles yet not one turtle i was expecting to see a ton of turtles yeah and hardly any gators we've seen a ton of gators and, no and hardly any turtles which i'm okay with what's up man this just give you an idea of how close we are to the gators if I stepped outside of my door right now, I would be entirely too close. <laughs> but I'm safe here in the uh, comfort of my very tall ram. He seems to not really care that much. Well, this is better than Disneyland for Leslie. <laughs> yes. Loves this stuff. Yeah, and I was just saying how it's annoying. Some of these people just want to drive by. Yeah, just want to blow like through. You gotta appreciate the beauty of them. Yeah. Man, some of these guys are hard to spot, but Leslie's good at it. She usually sees them before I do. And she's not even on the side where the gators are right now. I am. But now that she's gotten up top side. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> she can uh she can spot them a little better than I can now, so well she could spot them better than I could when she was in the truck, but now she's got the bird's eye view, so. Just don't me, tell me to stop too fast. Okay. Because you'll be like, <laughs> You would like that. Just looking up your shirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> All these gators are awesome. Uh -huh. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> We've been driving along this canal for probably three or four miles. It seems longer than that because you're only doing like, you know, five to ten miles an hour. But this little grassy area across here has had several gators and lots of gators. We were hoping to see them swimming and we did. There was some swimming through the canal, which was really cool. And now they're basking on this other other bank across from us. Not too, too close, probably about uh, 30 yards from us right now. And he's just, he's just hanging out. Well, we're back home. How cool is that, man? It's very cool. Man, I, th I think, I think we get more excited about gators than anybody else. <laughs> I think so. I feel like people are watching going, all right, we've seen gators. Yeah. And they're probably wondering, what is their freaking obsession with the gator? <laughs> we love them, though. Oh. And the best part was it was totally free. Got to go through there yeah. totally free. Um, just burn a little gas. Yeah. A couple hours of driving but through there. But it was there. so bad. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, the lady exaggerated a little bit on a the eagle's bit. nest. Yeah. It was about the size of a Prius. <laughs> not the size of the truck. <laughs> and there were no eagles. No, in it, we didn't so. see one at the time. Luckily, we saw some along the way, so yeah. it wasn't a big deal. So <laughs> don't get your hopes up on the eagles at the end of the ride, because... That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I probably just took her word a little too seriously, yeah. and I was disappointed. Bless her heart. Bless her little heart. <laughs> <laughs> but it's totally worth it. Go out to Lake Apopka, do the... What is it called? What is the, the actual... The Wildlife Drive. The Wildlife Drive, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's there all, is an audio tour part to it you, yeah. that you can do, and there are like historic water pumps and little things out there. We were like, no, yeah. we're here for the gators. For the gators. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a section where you can uh, ride your bikes or scooters or so, yeah. whatever. So uh, That'd be interesting to do too. I don't know how close up you get to gators on those trails, and maybe we'll go back out and do it sometime. Maybe. Yeah. Feeling ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> But it was super fun. Was I always awesome. feel like we're cheating on Scout when uh, we go out and do that stuff too. Uh, we're raising a tiny gator. Yeah. That's how it <laughs> they give you the same look. It's so funny. <laughs> they do give you the same they look. They give you the same side oh eye. Oh my god. The same like, I don't give a crap about you look. Yeah. Like. Stay the F away from me. Yeah. It's <laughs> so crazy. Me. Like they have that same <laughs> attitude. Yes. It's yeah. a reptile thing. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't stop us. We love it. Yeah. So definitely worth it. Yeah. Um, hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, mm -hmm. everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.